So if you're very highly extroverted and you're very disagreeable, uh, you're you're prone to to narcissisms. Narcissism. So a great example of someone who's highly extroverted and low in disagreeableness would be uh, Jordan Belfort from The Wolf of Wall Street. So when when I watch him, yeah, and when you listen to him. You can completely work him out. He's ex- exceptionally extroverted, so he can woo people and he can charm people, but he just doesn't eat. Or he's, I reckon, because what tends to happen is people become more agreeable as they get older. And obviously, what he went through, I'm not saying that he's Satan himself. He will have rectified that and atoned for it. But when he was a young man, he would have, he was obviously a very disagreeable, which is quite common. Men tend to be more disagreeable than women. And then that's where the sleazy salesman uh, sort of stereotype comes from. It comes from because it attr- it can attract those sorts of people. There's, there's a brilliant show that I absolutely love called White Gold, I think, um, which is a channel yeah. for about... Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. And it's yeah. like a car- caricaturization of salespeople. And, and that's you know nailing the sort of stereotypes but that's i completely agree with you about sales should be connecting people that have that one person that can provide a service and the other person that is receptive to a service people think that extroverted people are interested in people but that's actually not true extroverted people aren't interested in people they're interested in the social landscape that we engage in when we talk conversationally so the people that are interested in people are the, are agreeable people and they're uh they're the ones that are compassionate and polite <laughs>